This is the Power One, a sleek, luxurious, dynamic, and powerful vehicle inside of Roblox Jailbreak. This magnificent car is the level 10 prize for season 17, and whoa, it's- Whoa, 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 Pixel, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi, Fender. I, uh, I, I was just about to do my review of the Power One. Oh, same. I was gonna- uh, wait a second. Is that my outfit? Uh, I, 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 uh, uh gotta go! As I was saying, the Power One is the newest seasonal car inside of Roblox Jailbreak and might be my favorite level 10 car of all time. Seriously, everything about this car screams greatness, so let's start with the thing that's easiest to pinpoint, the appearance. The McLaren P1, the inspiration behind this vehicle, is an absolutely stunning hypercar. Its design is awe-inspiring, and Ufed's version of it is certainly no different. The headlights, doors, rear lights, every piece of this model is amazing. The interior is a phenomenon in and of itself, being insanely well-crafted with exceptional amounts of detail. This car is breathtaking. As we always say over here, looks are subjective. Except in this case. This car objectively looks good, there's no disputing that, it's purely fact. I'm giving this car's design a solid 9.5 out of 10, the only thing holding it back being that perfection doesn't truly exist, but with this car, it darn well feels like it. In terms of customization, there's nothing out of this world with the Power One, but does it really need anything extra? You have your basic options, and thank the lord, a spoiler option, something a lot of my favorite vehicles don't really have. One thing I do want to nitpick is that the interior main customization option changes what would normally be the interior detail, while the interior main stays the same color. However, what I didn't know until writing this review is that the interior detail option changes the colors of the instrument panel display, a neat detail that I think makes up for my earlier nitpick. This is my personal customization, but the Power One looks good in every color. And to top it all off, the Power One has its own unique engine sound. Take a listen. Personally, I really like it, but I can definitely see the appeal of liking other engine sounds more. In summary, everything about how this car presents itself is incredible. Its design and appearance is that of a masterpiece. It just looks fantastic. But how does it drive? Power One's driving ability is nothing short of phenomenal. The Jailbreak Wiki grants it the following scores, an 8 out of 10 in top speed, a 7 out of 10 in reverse speed, a 10 out of 10 in launch speed, a 9 out of 10 in acceleration, a 10 out of 10 in handling, a 9 out of 10 in off-roading, and a 10 out of 10 in braking. Judging by these stats, it's fairly obvious that the Power One's only downside is that it can't go too fast. But a top speed of 237 miles per hour is still really good, especially when you compare that with its top tier handling and acceleration. You can get a third of the way to its top speed in one second, and two thirds of the way in three and a half. The way this car gains speed is exceptional, and its handling is no different. The agility of this thing is crazy, gliding you through tight corners with well-timed drifts. The footage you're seeing right now is from Tina, one of the game testers of Jailbreak. And as you can see, its maneuverability is crazy good. It also has wildly good braking, being able to come to a full stop in around a second. Another notable trait is its excellent off-roading, with the wiki claiming that it's quote, one of the few cars able to climb steep slopes like the casino. Aside from being a really great car, it's just so fun to drive, creating almost the best possible experience for a vehicle in Jailbreak. In terms of trading, there's currently no agreed upon value for the Power One, but if I had to guess, I think it'll balance out at around 5 million. It's a solid car with great stats and even greater looks. However, I could be completely wrong and it could just be another two and a half million dollar car, or it could pull a Proto 8 and skyrocket for literally no reason. Either way, we're going to take a look at what offers I got for it right now. My first offer came from someone who thought that my tag saying, trading Power One for a video, literally meant that I was trading it for a video. So they were asking how they would send me the video 
to trade for the power one. <laughs> After a bit of discussion, they ended up offering me four $1 million vehicles, which I probably would not take as they are obtainable. However, if you want to, I could perfectly see why you would take it. Next, I was offered Volt and Hyper Orange Level 1, and personally, I think this is a pretty bad offer. This guy offered me Beam Hybrid and Hyper Purple Level 5 for Power 1. Um, and I found that very sketch, so I backed out almost immediately. Next up, I was offered Aperture and Agent for Power 1, and if my guess that it'll settle around 5 million is accurate, then this is actually a pretty fair trade. We don't really know what the Power 1's eventual value is gonna be, but I think this is a pretty fair offer. Next up, I thought I was offered the 2 billion spoiler for the Power 1, but right before I declined the trade, they asked for Banna a car please, which I think means banana car. Either way, I probably wouldn't take 2 billion for Power 1, just because the value of it seems kinda meh, and the demand is definitely not as good. Then I was offered Concept, La Matador, Electrostatic, and Spyglass, Again, another offer that I probably wouldn't take. Next up, I was offered Volt, Armor, and Hyper Red Level 1. An offer that isn't too bad, there's definitely worse offers, but again, I think I would hold off from this. The demand on all these items isn't the best, in my opinion. Then I traded my OG pickup for this guy's Roadster, and I wouldn't have included this, except I told him that this would be in the video for whatever reason, so uh... Yeah, that's why you're seeing this right now. Next up, I was offered Tiny Toy, Hyper Diamond Level 1, Hyper Red Level 1, Circuits, Berlin Graffiti, Hot Orange, Pickup, and Model 3. On the surface, to some, this might not seem too bad, but if you take a look at the values, I'm pretty sure this is not that great. After that, I was offered the Proto 8, and I think this is actually a really solid offer. Unless the Power 1 skyrockets in value for no apparent reason, just like the Proto, this is a really good deal. They might have been overpaying, though, just because it was my OG Power 1. After that, I was offered Bandit, Agent, two Jets, and two Black Hawks. Another really solid offer, in my opinion. I do think you could get better, but this is definitely not on the lower end of the spectrum. I mean, in sheer value, this is 9 million for a car that you could get for free. After that, I was offered Molten M12, which I think is also a pretty solid offer. I mean, it has lower demand at the moment, but I think in terms of value, these will be about equal or the M12 will be higher. I don't see a reason why the M12 would be lower value than this car, but who knows, trading value is the most unpredictable thing ever. So in summary, the trades that I would accept are the ones that are 5 million or higher. However, I could be completely wrong and the Power 1 could end up being worth a lot more in the future, but I have my doubts. However, I do think this will be a pretty sought after car in trading. Fender, if you could describe the Power One in a sentence, what would it be? All in all, the Power One is a perfect statement of what a jailbreak supercar should be. It's beautiful, both inside and out, with that performance to back it up, and it'll definitely earn its place alongside some of jailbreak's most iconic seasonal cars. Well said, I think my sentence would be, Cargo Vroom. In conclusion, the Power One is a legendary vehicle in Roblox Jailbreak, and my personal favorite seasonal reward we have ever gotten. It has astoundingly good stats, the detail on it is extraordinary, and overall, it's just a... a... I think I'm running out of descriptive words here, but surely you get the idea. Thank you Fender and Tina for the help, and thank you for watching. Yeah, okay, I give up. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I quit YouTube. <laughs>